the article entitled Prevalence and the Effect of Plant Extracts on Community-Associated Mesticillin Resistant Staphylococcus aureus in Ori, Emo State, Nigeria was published by Amadi S. Ogwimo I, Ibwiti I, Abenadi Southeast, Chikwendu C. I and Ikvadadoi 1 in the Journal of Research in Biology Volume 3, Issue for it. Pages 967 to 976. The summary of this article goes on as follows. The prevalence of methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus MRSA among apparently healthy inhabitants of the Obodo community and students of Federal University of Technology Ori Futo Emo State, Nigeria was studied. The work further ascertained the antibacterial activities of medicinal plants including A. The Birth Indica, Terracarpus Mild Bray I. I. Garcinia Cola, Philin Thuzmarus and Vernonia Amidlina against the MRSA isolates. The total of 200 nasal swab specimens were randomly collected from the participants. The Kirby Bauer technique was used to determine the susceptibility pattern of the isolates to vancomycin 5 grams citrofloxacin 5 grams ceftriaxone 30 grams oxycillin 5 grams methicillin 10 grams and erythromycin 15 grams. The antibacterial properties of the ethanolic plant extracts were determined using the agar well diffusion technique. The total of 181.90.5% and 141.70.5% of the nasal swab samples yielded Staphylococcus species and Staphylococcus aureus respectively. The antibiotic sensitivity screening revealed that 38.27% of the SRS isolates were methicillin resistant. The MRSA isolates also exhibited the highest resistance to vancomycin and the least to ceftriaxone. Furthermore, the results showed that crude ethanolic extracts of all tested plant extracts except Terracarpus mild bray II exhibited antibacterial activities against the MRSA isolates. Phytochemical components such as alkaloids, tannins, glycosides, satinins, flavonoids, terpenoids, flobotanins, steroids and anthraquinones were detected in the plant materials in varying proportions. This study unveiled a relatively high occurrence of MRSA among the study population which could be a risk factor for infection with MRSA. These plant extracts could also serve as potential sources of therapy for the treatment of MRSA infections. You may also publish your research articles with us with good for review and elite standards. Kindly visit www.jresearchbiology.com for further details. For submission, submit your articles to submit at jresearchbiology.com. Thank you for listening us. Keep watching and learn good. This audio was brought to you by www.arjal.org.